As we announced, I think it, I believe it is our third athletic director in the last 40 years. So uh, with Joe Etzel serving so long and then Larry Williams. So right now it's my distinct honor to introduce the University of Portland president, Father Bill Beauchamp, to you. Uh, during his last 10 years on the bluff, we've had unprecedented success here at the University of Portland. A few of the highlights here include the building of five new buildings on campus, renovations of dozens more, We've initiated the largest capital campaign in the Northwest for a private school, a uh, $175 million campaign. It's called the RISE campaign. To date, we've raised $129 million, so we're well on our way to a success with that. We've had the largest and most successful admissions activity in university history under Father Bill's tenure. Uh, we've been the number one producer of Fulbright Scholars in the nation for the last two years. We've been ranked by Bloomberg Business Week as the number one school in Oregon for the return on investment. And we've won two Division I National Women's Soccer Championships during the time Father Bill's been here. He serves on many local and national boards and committees, including the NCAA Division I Board of Directors. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce Father Bill Boshe. Thank you, Mary. What's nice about that is I can take full credit for everything. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you all for coming today and uh, to share this exciting news as we begin uh, a new era in University of Portland history, and that is with the announcement, uh, introduction of Scott Lycan as our new athletic director. Um, Lori's right. We've had three, three athletic directors. This is the third one in the last 43 years because uh, Joe was 35 years and Larry was seven. And as you know, Larry Williams uh, served as AD here beginning in 2004, went to Marquette University to become their athletic director, and I'm very proud of him and happy for him. When that happened, we instituted a new national search, and it really truly was a national search for a new athletic director, and this uh, concluded last week. Um, before I introduce our new athletic director, Scott, I would like to thank Karen Peters. Karen Peters has served as the interim director of athletics at the university uh, since January. She's done a tremendous job in that role, and I'm sure all the coaches and everybody in the athletic administration will agree. So, Karen, thank you. Now, uh, Scott comes to us, uh, comes to the University of Portland from the West Coast Conference, where he served as senior associate commissioner for external relations. And in that job, he oversaw the conference's television partnerships, marketing, digital media initiatives, media relations, corporate sponsorships, branding, championships, and scheduling. He wasn't very busy. He played a key role in successful negotiations with ESPN that resulted in the highest rights fee and the most annual appearances in WCC conference history. Scott worked closely with our coaches and administrators during his time at the WCC. And everyone who has worked with him admires and respects his skills, his work ethic, his vision, and most of all, his commitment to successful athletics and the growth and development of student athletes as whole persons. Prior to uh, going to the WCC, Scott was a writer and editor at several newspapers before working as co-media relations director and then director of annual giving in the Stanford University Athletic Department. He oversaw a 222% increase in donations to the Stanford Athletic Department uh, in their annual fund during his tenure. We're looking forward to big things for him, Scott. <laughs> Scott and his wife, Amy, have three young children, Austin, Tyler, and Allison, and hopefully they are all future pilots. But please join me in welcoming Scott Lycom to the University of Portland community. Good afternoon. Uh, I am humbled to be here, to say the least, and, and very excited for this opportunity. I'd like to thank Father Bill and everyone involved in the interview process. I walked away from my on-campus interview a couple of weeks ago, impressed with the passion and commitment of those affiliated with the University of Portland 
and knew more than ever that I wanted to be a part of this university committee community. I'm very excited to get started. The last few days have been a bit of a whirlwind, um, but excited for the summer and the fall and the great things ahead for the University of Portland Athletic Department. With a new beginning becomes the end of a chapter or chapters, as it will, of 20 years of working in collegiate athletics in the San Francisco Bay Area. I had an incredible ex chance to have a 13-year experience at Stanford Athletics, working under great mentors such as Ted Leland and Bill Walsh and Bob Bowlesby, and cherish many of the friendships I made on the farm. Ironically, one of those friendships was a game changer for myself, my career, and my family. And for that, I will be ever grateful to Jamie Zaninovich, who is here today. The last four years spent with Jamie and a first-rate staff at the WCC was a chance to work under tremendous leadership and take the West Coast Conference to new heights. Jamie, thank you for all you've done, and I'm very glad we get the chance to work together every day. I'm very proud of what we've accomplished together at the West Coast Conference over the last four years. And a big selling point of this position for me was that I will have the opportunity to continue working with WCC staff, coaches, and administrators on a daily basis. Last and certainly not least, I'd like to thank my family who is home finishing the school year. My wife Amy has been incredibly patient over the 15 years we've been married with the planes, trains, and automobiles that is the college athletics business, and I can't thank her enough. Our three children, Austin, Tyler, and Allison, are very excited to add purple to their wardrobes. <laughs> and as my eight-year-old said, I finally get to own a raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what he's in for. <laughs> for me, the ultimate jobs are ones at which you are challenged and are passionate about. This position brings both of those and more for me. As I mentioned earlier, I was extremely impressed during the interview process as it related to this administration's passion for the University of Portland and their dedication to fulfilling this institution's mission of the development of the whole person. The alignment of the university and the athletic department in working together toward fulfilling that mission makes this university a very special place. That alignment from Father Bochamp to the administration, to the coaches, to our student athletes, provides tremendous opportunity for this athletic department to both succeed on the fields of play and be an integral part of both the University of Portland community and the city of Portland community. The value of an athletic department on a university campus cannot be underestimated, as we have the potential to have a positive impact on the university experience of every single student on this campus whether it be student athletes, intramurals, recreation opportunities, student workers, or student fan groups. We will not take this responsibility lightly, as the motto of teaching faith and service also applies to UP Athletics. The next three to six to 12 months will involve a lot of outreach and a lot of listening to internal and external constituents and getting out and meeting and engaging as many supporters, alumni, fans, and community members as possible. There are three key things I'm hoping to learn. One, we need to get a handle on why UP students, alumni, and the local community are supporting the University of Portland Athletics, and in some cases, and most importantly, why they're not. Second, I want to learn more about what we have done and are doing to provide our student athletes with the best experience possible. And finally, be the best we can be at being collaborative and active within day-to-day -day university campus life. I'm also excited to learn more from my two predecessors, Joe Etzel and Larry Williams, both of whom I greatly respect. These two men built what University of Portland Athletics is today, and I'm excited to hear more about their thoughts on where the program has come and where it has to go. I'm very fortunate to come into a position where I've had the pleasure of working with many of the head coaches 
and key members of the administrative staff. In particular, I would like to thank Karen Peters for the good work she has done in the interim athletic director role since Larry Williams' departure and will continue to do so since July 1st. Thank you, Karen. I'm also excited to continue a working relationship with coaches such as Garrett Smith, Eric Reveno, Chris Sperry, Bill Irwin, and others that I have spent a great deal of time with in the conference room as we work together to craft a long-term vision for the West Coast Conference. That being said, we have a lot of work to do on and off the fields of play to continue to develop the men's basketball program, work to maintain national prominence in soccer and cross country, and elevate all of our programs as we work to be the best broad-based athletic program, both in the WCC and among our peer institutions across the country. Again, I'm thrilled to be a part of the University of Portland family and can't wait to get started. Scott mentioned Jamie. I should have introduced him. Our West Coast Commissioner, Jamie Zeminis. I'm not going to introduce them all. A number of our faculty and staff, but I do want to specifically mention Jim Price, who's a member of our Board of Regents and a member of the Athletic Affairs Committee. Jim Price, thank you for coming. Questions, and so I will, I, you know, you can ask your question, and if we can't hear you, I'll repeat it. Um, and for for both um, Bobby Bill and our new AD, anybody have first question? Come on, don't be shy. Yes. Yeah, I'm wondering, uh, Scott, how much of a benefit is it for you to have worked for the WCC and now be an athletics director for a WCC school? That's a good question. I think a lot of it is I've, I've talked to some of the head coaches in the last 72 hours uh, has to do with, with resource allocation. Uh, working for 13 years at Stanford, you see one operation and how one operation works. The last four years at the WCC, to use a little bit of a, a metaphor, you get to look under the hood at, at nine different athletic departments and what's worked and what hasn't worked in those models. So. I do believe that, that taking this position, there can be a little taken from each school on, on how they've gotten to where they are. Um, the nice part, one of the things I've learned is, is the University of Portland was, was a front runner in making the most of geography and really with soccer and cross country, taking advantage of this as a hotbed for both of those sports and putting the resources into those programs to be nationally prominent. And that's something we need to, to continue to look at that, that really is a big part of, uh, of who's on top of the WCC. Other questions? Anybody? Anybody else have any questions? Well, um, they'll be available for one-on-one -on -one, um, if anybody wants to talk to them right after this. That'd be great. We really appreciate everyone coming and I'm um, very excited to see what Scott will bring to this kids' community. And go Pilots!